Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching Nile Cruz with Ronald Assas and myself, Mohammed Abdelhim. And as we promise you, the uh, African Cup of Nations is the main topic here. And we have two uh, of the um, volunteer committee members and the TLO members uh, with us here. They are Dr. Asma al Nukrashi and uh, engineer. Uh, Abdurrahman Metwelli, thank you very much for uh, being with us and we commend the work of the Volunteer Committee and the TLO and all, and we thank all of the volunteers in this championship. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's, it's our great. pleasure. Thank you. A very good day and it's a pleasure to have you with, with, with us. Uh, Mohammed. of course, uh, we know that firstly um, uh, the exit of the Moroccan uh, uh, team by Benin and... Uh, you want to start with the surprises. Exactly, yeah. with many surprises started uh, taking and the place. Egyptian and Egyptian exit at the hands of uh, South Africa, of oh, course. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. It, was a, uh, uh, it was very disappointing and it was annoying because we are hosting this competition and we were looking forward to, of course, to, uh, to Egypt uh, continuing uh, or being of course the, uh, the one that's going to be taking the cup anyway uh, engineer uh, Abdurrahman Metwelli could you tell us more sir about the initiative that you're taking or you're involved in or you're working on in this uh, championship and the importance of your initiative sir absolutely uh, I'm just working as an assistant coordinator for Salam Stadium uh, we have been preparing for the stadium and preparing the volunteers for a training to an aside training and specific training for each team to be ready when the tournament start uh, we have more than one team regarding the stadium gates logistics spectator services flags and uh, media and also mixed zones and we have more than one team uh, for the tournament in the Sam stadium i'm responsible for the flags team the opening ceremony for each uh, match and just opening the flags at the time and preparing for the match so um you are the ones that are wearing the white shirts and you open up the flags yes absolutely in each and every uh match absolutely okay great so th they show up about maybe maybe two hours or something before at least in Cairo Stadium where uh, I know that Dr. Uh, Asme is so uh, so talk to us about Cairo Stadium and we know that um, you you um, your work is there how uh, did you feel in front of 100,000 fans uh, what was the most exciting moment for you the happiest moments the the, the saddest moments talk to us about that Actually, I have to say that the first time I went to Cairo Stadium, I was very young. I was actually like five, year, five years old, so I used to go to Cairo Stadium, so I love it so much. But every time, it's, it's like the first time when you see like... Asma, sorry, why did you used to go when you used to be at the age I of five years old? I am a, f I'm a, I'm a football fan. I'm a you football are, fan. so so, yes. so, yeah. so you're like my daughter. She is that yes. she takes us all the way to Russia. She takes us all the way to any match that's taking place. That's here. absolutely me also, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, but I have to say that every time is such like a, the first time. Seeing like 100,000, as you sir just said, it's such a moment, a very inspirational moment for every one of us. And to be responsible for something that will show off and to show the country which is the most important point it's some it's a huge responsibility so yeah. I have to say it's every moment is such a moment it's such a great moment and you feel like the players themselves don't you yes yeah. because every time it's cheering you the yeah. people is just when they see the Egyptian flag they just right. cheer everybody yes yeah. it's great mm. And actually the saddest moment is always, you know, football, when your team just go out, it, uh, just mm. exit. That's, that's the saddest moment, but this is football and this is sports and we have to accept it. So, and we have to continue working yeah. because we are not working only to, for, the foot, for the Egyptian team, we are working for the tournament, we are working right. for the country, to show our country in the best situation and in the best image ever. Absolutely. So, yes. This is the saddest moment, but yet we are happy. We are happy to volunteer in such an event. We are happy to represent the country. And we, we look forward to see all those fans again in the Cairo Stad to, to cheer the, the rest of the teams. Yeah, you will. You have a quarter final, a semi final, and yeah, a final. Sure. Yeah. Asme, um, I just want um, to to make so, to verify something, something more. Um, your role exactly. Are you the boss over there? You are the one that gives the instructions to the other youth that are uh, with you uh, doing the same thing. Uh, what's your role exactly? 
Actually, in the, we are in the volunteer and DLO committee. We have like just engineer Abdurrahman said that but we have. But engineer Abdurrahman, what I understand is in another Salaf. completely different state. Yeah, but we actually we work together. We help each other. So each stadium has its own committees. We are not. I don't like to say that we are my boss. I'm not a boss. I'm just like a coordinator between the the people working in the stadium and our volunteers who is going to show off this tableau or this great image. So we work to, facilita to facilitate their work and to facilitate the work of the local organizing committee that is responsible for the tournament. So my main role is to facilitate the work between the local organizing committee, uh, the sponsor, the, 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 company, the company which is sponsor, sponsor for the tournament, and the volunteers to do this flag carrier tableau in the beginning of each match. Yeah, uh, uh, engineer Metwelli, I, uh, I, as you said, you you were in Salam, you are in Salam Stadium. I think you still have matches there. Tell me about the the most important matches that uh, I think Morocco was playing there, um, and South the South Africa group, the Morocco group. Tell me about uh, the important matches, the important moments, the the the, um, the the condition of the pitch, which the world is talking about. You know, saying that the Egyptian um, uh, fields are World Cup fields. How do you um, do you see the maintenance of of that? Um, actually, first of all, I, I want to agree on that um, uh, Morocco and all the group, Group D was playing on us. The first moment, which was the very hard moment, was the second match because the, the four teams were playing on the same day. So mm. we're having two matches. So we have to be uh, at the stadium from 12 a.m. 12 p.m. in the morning. Uh, it was uh, really challenging because we're having just almost about uh, four um, uh, spectators or four uh, people just coming from four different countries just to watch the f two matches. Uh, we were very happy to uh, host all those people and all those countries. Uh, little bit, it was a little bit changeable to have two matches in the same day to open the flags and to hand it the volunteers. Uh, little bit, it was challenging, uh, but uh, alhamdulillah, it went fine. Uh, it was great. We have a good experience. We just did all the work we do. The pe all the people were happy, uh, especially the Morocco team because uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, I think it was the second degree and the third degree for the Morocco team. It almost almost was full. So it was very, very good moment just to hear all those spectators and all those Cheering, people just yeah. coming from different countries to support their country and their team. It was really, really very happy moment. And we did all our best to make it easier for them and to make them uh, their moment happy. And also to, to watch them celebrating their team, winning the matches and being the first on the group. That was a very, very good moment. Great. Um uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Asma, I, I want yes, to I want ask Asma ask something. <laughs> okay, uh, go, go ahead, Rana, go ahead. Uh, Asma, uh, you mentioned that the flag carrier tableau is organized in a, in a very amazing and very um, special way and very um, <laughs> organized way. Uh, of course, I was watching the matches at home and at the Cairo Stadium. I did not go to the uh, Salem Stadium, unfortunately, <laughs> okay. engineer. Uh, but uh, um, how is it? Uh, I, I understand it's a really difficult uh, um, uh, thing to do. Yeah. Uh, it's not that easy as it seems. And actually, what made me really proud is that you do it exactly like it was done in the World Cup. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, so it's really impressive. And when the come, we come to when the, the, you open up the flags of e the two countries that are playing, and then we sing the national anthem of each and every country, it's really impressive. How do you uh, organize this? Because it's not easy. It may seem easy to us opening flags and closing flags, but I saw them gathering, queuing up, and entering into the pitch of the football yeah. um, uh, to, to to do this. It's not an easy job. Actually, I have to say that we are like um, we are four four groups because there are f there are four flags on the ground, two for the national teams and two of them for the sponsors. Each uh, flag from the small flags is carried by around 35 person, and the all one of them are volunteers. All of them are volunteers, yes, and all of them they are graduates, uh, some of them are working, some of them are doctors, some of them are engineers. Yes, they are. <laughs> and that one which is very huge, the rectangular one which is in the back, it's, um, it's carried by around 65, from 65 to 70 person. So actually we, 
we have before the before the beginning of the match we have to do like a bravo we have to do like it yes in order to make sure that the flag is every single match every single even match, uh, throughout yes, the competition when it's match. taking place yes yes wow. yes we have to do a rehearsal yes and we have to like to make sure that the flag is it's it's oriented in the right way and it's carried in the right way because another on another note it's a diplomatic issue. <laughs> of course, yes. political one. <laughs> it's, a it's a diplomatic political one. So we have to make sure that everything is okay and everything is, it's it's the same and there is equality between the two right. flags in the size, in the shape, in the orientation and all of this. And same goes for the for the sponsors, of, of course, but the main the main problem or the main thing which is the most important is the two flags of course, oriented two for countries. the uh, for the countries of course so we do a rehearsal every uh, before each match and we just make sure that everything is okay we do we say our instructions and we and the people got used how to do it on the beach so it's it's going well till now <laughs> Right, uh, 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 Dr. Asma, since um, you were a football fan since you were very young and you went to yes. the stadium, D did you have the luxury of watching the, the games or were you busy with your work? Actually, not so much. <laughs> Actually, what no. about the game in your stadium? Yes, it, uh, in my stadium and okay. in Salam Stadium and in 30 okay. June Stadium, we never had this luxury, by the way. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah. when the game was on, you were working? Most of it, yes, and we're working. Okay. Sometimes we uh. just, okay, look and say, okay, there is something over there, but when there is work, work is most, most important because we are there to work. We are not there to right. watch the match. We are S there to work. S same goes for you, engineer? Yeah, um, yeah we 20. only know uh, the goal when it comes be out of the sound of the spectators. We, we never, we never <laughs> see the goals. <laughs> How about the sound of spectators in um, the match between Egypt and uh, South Africa? Um, actually, uh, let me just tell you that all the spectators were at the stadium I think from 2 p.m. they never stop just uh, sound and just encouraging the people and the team even we though do we're the, while we're doing the rehearsal we're very happy uh, the moment that you just try to open the Egyptian flag to make the rehearsal mm. it's the moment that the whole stadium just shout out loud it's the first big noise yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah no one can feel the feeling unless you are in the field Right. Even I'm not on the playground, I'm not playing with the team, but I can feel that the feeling when I when we open the flag to have the rehearsal, all the people are shouting, all the people are happy. Um, it was really disappointing just to, to lose the game and to exit the, the tournament. However, we, we just tried to do all our best from our organizing side to make all the people happy and to encourage all the people to come to the stadium, the families and all the people to make it happen. Hopefully. Um, sir, your comment on the most important results of the stage of the 16, of, 16, of course. Most important is the exit of Egypt, unfortunately, and the exit of Cameroon, which of course is uh, uh, the winner of the last competition, unfortunately, which were two biggest surprises that took place in this tournament in the uh, uh, stage 16. Your comments, sir? That's football. <laughs> That's the magic of the football. <laughs> there are, were another surprises regarding Morocco, just Morocco yeah. exit. And there another surprise. surprise regarding Madagascar. Exactly. Madagascar, the, the good surprise. Yeah, the yes, good the surprise. Good surprise. surprise. It's yeah. surprise. Yeah. Yeah. From day one, they told And His Excellency, the President of Madagascar, yeah. came to watch <laughs> them and to cheer them on. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that because was great. It was they really deserve. great. Yeah, yeah. really they deserve. They, from the day one, they came to the tournament. They they said they have a um, a surprise, and we never we never expect to see them in the quarterfinals. They beat Nigeria in the group yeah. stage as well. Yes. So. Uh, of the fans that you watched, and I'm staying with you, um, Engineer Mitwelli, which really impressed you? I mean, with their uh, colors, with their songs, with their dances, with their noise? The Algerian spectators. Okay. Yeah. They were staying for long, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the team is strong. Yeah, they they had the team, team is very, very strong. The team is very strong. Very strong. Yeah. 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 Very strong. Let's yeah. wait and see. What do you think? Um, uh, is the main uh, problem or what took place uh, regard regardless of the idea that this is football but we still wanted Egypt to remain in this tournament and continue a little bit or be at least the, the champion of this uh, actually what took place wrong from your point of view from my point of view and don't tell me it's football I know it's the football team? Um, because every one of the 100 million every one of us has his or her point of view regarding football, I mean, regarding what happened. Yeah, but so, then. So, we, you're not necessarily a sports analyst, neither are us, but yes. we have our views. So, what do you think? 
um, I think we we don't learn from our mistakes. We had a mistake from the World Cup. Yeah. We never learn from it. Yeah. We are going on the same footsteps. Yeah. Never taking care of the mistakes. This is the same point of view. As, uh, uh, this is the way I think. It's this is what exactly happened to us in the World Cup, and we did not learn from our mistakes in the World Cup. And here we ended up in um, an African uh, Championship where we are hosting, and the same mistakes took place. I'm going to put this yes. to, to Asma as well. But before we say that, of course, we have to tell our viewers, and this is, of course, very well known, that the uh, Egyptian Football Association uh, uh, resigned, fully resigned. There will be elections in the upcoming uh, months, of course, according to the FIFA rules. There will be a new Egyptian Football Association. And of course, before the resignation of uh, uh, Engineer Hani Abureda, the head of the Football Association, who then called on the rest of the members to resign, and they heeded to his call, uh, he sacked uh, uh, Javier Aguirre uh, and the entire um, coaching um, staff. Thank you, Mohamed, for the good news. Um, well, of course, th that had to happen, uh, and, um, and uh, now we're going to have new elections and, 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 and a new uh, uh, Egyptian Football Association, association <laughs> which run up Egyptians must uh, hope necessarily that will, it will be a new, new one and not a new old one. And of course, we all understand what we mean. Not the same names, not the same faces, because we need to change policies. But I want to ask um, Asma, and she seems to be like a real football fan. Uh, can a football team rely on just one superstar or three or four very good players? And when I say this, it's not a secret. The numbers say this. Everybody who watched the game says this. It's been Salah, Tariq Hamid, Shinawi, and Trezeguet. Right, so so can, can, can we play with three or four players, even if there is one superstar, uh, and then you have the rest of the team, like average or below average? Can we win? Can any team in the world win like that? No, actually, yeah. actually, football is um, is a game played by twelve players. The fans so number twelve. Yes, <laughs> and the fans uh, eleven yeah. players, and the twelve is the uh, is the yeah. fans. Yes, so. And the trainer also. Yeah. And the trainer is the most important. So no, you can watch Argentina. Yeah. You can watch or Argentina. Messi with Argentina. You can watch yeah. Argentina. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. can watch. Um, I don't want to say Portugal because okay, Ronaldo is a different case. Ronaldo is a captain. Ronaldo knows how to lead. move yeah. the le Yes, very motivate true. and the lead. Very true. And Yes, he knows. He knows. He knows how to do it. And he, he knows. Has very he good knew it in Real well. Madrid, in, and he kn yeah. and he knows how to do it in his own national team in Portugal. So Ronaldo is a different case than Messi, and it's yeah, different I characters. I think. It's I agree not with you. Because he's a good player. He's a good player, and Messi is um, is the best in the world. Um, I'm a Barcelona fan, so Messi for me is the best in the world. But we have to say the truth. But it's never. You know that Germany once. Uh, beat the Brazil four seven one. yes and seven and five that's why Brazil is the best players in the world but they were not playing like as a team mm. playing as a team in football is the key mm. we all seen the Champions League we all seen Ajax Amsterdam right we all seen the surprise of Ajax we all seen all these matches so football only understands who works who who, who prepare who, who do yes who do his homework and then wait for the answer. And now we are watching Madagascar, and yeah. we are watching Al 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 Gazer or Al Algeri. They oh, are. They are playing they are with hard. Yes, they are playing oh hard. God. They are doing their best. Yeah. They, oh my yes. God, they are so good. football. Yes, yeah. we ha we have a, a good. Uh, uh, a star. We have a, a star, superstar. A superstar, which is Muhammad Salah, that we have never had someone like him before, and we have Very all true. to admit um, this. Asma, sorry true. to interrupt you. Um, it's up to you to answer, up to engineer to answer. Yeah. Uh, your evaluation of Salah's playing in this competition? Actually, Salah in this competition? No, he wasn't that good. He would. I wish that he would do better because he had a very good chance to be the best player in the world okay. this year. Can I interrupt in, in here, Rana? Uh, uh, he scored two goals and he made two assists to Trezeguet. If Trezeguet scores one of the two, we beat South Africa. Uh, uh, they uh, were all just, on Salah and point. that's why he made the assist. I have a Salah point. can yeah, never Let me just tell you something. Yeah, please. Uh, Salah can you never ask about should never be blamed. 
And I'm not blaming no, you. Okay. I'm just, okay. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm we just, we're not blaming anyone. Yeah. We're, we, we're yeah. just here to yeah, yeah, yeah. evaluate how uh, he was playing. We are and about, I, we and are I see from my point from of view. As a superstar winning the Champions League with Liverpool. So uh, we are just expecting from him more. But let me just add something to Dr. Asma. There is a spirit. In, yes, twi in yes, 2006, 2008, yeah, then the Hassan had the team. 2010, yes. the team. no yes. one of the players were playing international. All of them are playing locally in exactly. the Egyptian tournament. You're talking about the best Egyptian team ever. Yes, that's what we're talking. I'm, talk yeah, I'm, that's I'm talking about the spirit. Yeah. If you have the spirit, you can do anything. That's I think, from my point of view, that's what Madagascar is doing. They have the spirit. They have the encourage, so they're doing anything. And, and as you said, that's what Algeria is, uh, is yes. doing. Yes, but Algeria has, has what all the teams are doing, Mohammed. What all the teams are doing. I have to add one point, one point that Salah is a player. His job is to play and to do a very well, uh, to do his job in the game and to do his job with his friends or his team or his colleagues in the team. But he's not his job to manage the team. So I, I, my point of view is that at that time Salah exceeds his role that he started to be one of the managers of the team and this is not good. He is a player. He should keep up as a player. And this was his fault. He's a very good one. He's a very, we all love him. We all of love course him. he's one of the amazing yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you said, we, can we never, never had this. one like we him. Can never we never already. had one like he's him, but, but, can but can he still he can do something wrong and he can Absolutely. learn from his Everybody. Yeah, yeah. My, my main issue here is that I will, I met by coincidentally after the match Zidane. Of course we all know the, the players sure, Zidane, sure. Uh, which was one of the best if we come to account it today as football, he was of one of the best generation. players yeah, all over the yeah. world. Yeah. If we are playing in the same way that we are playing today, or people watch soccer today like they used to watch it in the past, yeah. so Zidane was going to be standing somewhere else, totally different where he stood. Uh, um, what they then told me was that everyone in everyone uh, that Trezeguet, for example. Uh, Trezeguet is a very good player. However, he has a problem when he comes to strike. That's true. If yes. he strikes the finishing, yeah. 10 goals, yeah, he gets one. If he gets a, I don't understand. I'm, I'm, I'm yes, not it's I'm the not finishing point. No. It's the I'm finishing point. point. Yeah. <laughs> if he comes to strike <laughs> you. 10 goals, he's going to be he's going to be striking only, only one. one Salah will strike nine. Trezeguet will strike only one. Yeah. And that was the case in the, in the in the match in last match. Trezeguet was in front of the um, the, the, goal. the goal and he didn't strike it yeah. and uh, it yeah yeah you see Rana, this is what happens when 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 the opposing so we're discussing team players that we have to evaluate we're discussing yeah, of be, course uh, yeah, a federation that has to be changed thankful to them they resignated uh, we're very thankful uh, we're discussing a complete um, they had mm, to do that uh, exactly I'm, I'm thankful to yeah. them <laughs> they have to go bye bye since since uh, actually since since the World Cup they had to go I don't know why they're here until today but it happened unfortunately I shouldn't depend on Salah as a superhero that is gonna be because play. football is 11 he's, players exactly, he's, he's not gonna play on behalf of the 11 players Mm, but at the end of the day, we made a big mistake. Yeah, we didn't learn from our mistakes from the World Cup. Although uh, I think that it's the, not about the, football. Yeah, the, gold, the golden team, yeah, uh, they just set our expectations very high. So that's we are expecting from the Egyptian team, as well as all the African teams. They are expecting from Egypt the same team. Uh, uh, you know, you could you remember the day Drogba when he just told that if anyone plays in the, in the Cairo Stadium, he will know the meaning of pressure. He will know the meaning of yeah. the spectators. Or more than 100,000 spectators just shouting for the Egyptian team. That's put you on a stress Let me add that you something cannot score. to what you said, Engineer Metwelli, is that that spirit as well, not only was it in the golden team, Hassan Shahata's team, but it was also in El Gohari's teams, yes, 1990 yes, of course. and 1998. And I want to add but it was not, yeah. Rana, as you said, it was not in the Russia team 2018, and it was not. There was, in, there uh, was and Maham yes. and uh, Asna. Before we wrap up today's episode, because we've winner, come to pick the a end, winner for us. we have to. Uh, uh, yeah. um, you're gonna yeah. pick a winner for Mohammed, but I have to mention that the cheering of the Egyptian team is like no one all over the world. Yes, yes. When they used to w open the spotlights of their mm. or of uh, the flash of their mobiles yeah. in a minute, in a second, without thinking. And every each and everyone in the state in the stadium is copying the other um, all automatically mm. without even thinking. Mm. Guys, mm. no, it's it's nowhere. Mm. And and, mm. and really something another something as I told you the mo the most important just like the players is the trainer. We have no tactics. Yes. We have not. You know we're this. Doing the you same know this. At the same you know. You have seen. Also, we have seen Barcelona in in the Champions League. Valverde. He, he know nothing. The so coach cancelled yes. the role of the a striker. A team has Messi and has all these stars, yeah. but it. 
He lost. He lost. The lost. coach left us without a defender, yeah. Mohamed. He lost. And without a striker. What did you want to ask us? Yes. The winner, the winner. Please pick a winner for us. Algeria. Uh, maybe Algeria or Senegal. Algeria? Okay. Yes. okay. Maybe yeah. Senegal as well. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Because they're playing very, very, very okay. good football. Of course, um, engineer uh, Abdurrahman Metwelli, it was a pleasure to have you to end with pleasure us today, to of course. It was a lovely, of course, uh, interview from my own point of view. Hope you enjoyed being with us. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Esma and uh, Qurashi, of course, uh, uh, pride to Egypt, uh, five you. years old and um, volunteering in such a wonderful organized uh, championship that I have to abide to the fact that Egypt is doing a wonderful job Absolutely. everything is uh, facilitating or the organization is amazing uh, you do your job uh, of course we watch you but we have to hail you here in our program thank you so much, uh, thank you so much for everything and thank you so much for joining us in today's episode thank of you thank, thank you thank you, thank you. it's today. my pleasure thank you, very much. Thank you. Dear viewers, stay with us we'll be back again with another segment